All right, year four, we're ready to go. All loaded up, headed to Montana. A couple changes this year. The A team's going and the B team, <laughs> Snick and Allie are going. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right, we've been here for about a half a day. I didn't do my intro uh, walkthrough video like I have every year. We've had a lot of crap going on here. Um, MJ told me to do it and I forgot, but cabin's in pretty good shape. So we had a lot going on. Anytime you bring more family to the party here, it gets a little more complicated, but they're starting to adjust. They're both uh, over 16 years old, pretty spoiled, lived a pampered life, so they're here for the summer. We're getting started here this morning. Um, this is probably day one. Yesterday we got in, we got everything unpacked, and uh, I'm starting to get the solar system laid out. Here's our, our ground mount plan that we're gonna follow. And I started digging the first hole here. So we're going to go six foot apart on a pretty much straight due south angle with a 34 to 35 degree tilt on the uh, solar panels. And we're going to catch that sun, midday sun from there to about there for our solar system. The wind's really blowing today, so if this sound doesn't come out, I will edit it out. But uh, one of the big projects this year was to get our solar system installed and functioning properly. And we've been running on solar now for a while. It's been working really well. If you want any information on DIY solar systems, I would check out Wild Wonderful Off Grid. Josh and Aaron, Josh is a licensed electrician does a great job explaining some of this stuff. There's others too, but that's where I'd start. So that is our combiner box. We're bringing three strings in of, from our solar array, and that goes down in a number four copper wire that goes underground. It comes into our, our solar room or our utility room. That feeds into our box here. And then uh, it's distributed over to the charge controller, back through to the inverter, and then out to our utility, or our, to our service panel. Um, this was a uh, generator feed that we used before we had solar, so that's just shut off to fill those blanks. The 30 amp breaker is our well. I have two 20 amp breakers, which is really overkill for our cabin, but one feeds our kitchen line and the other feeds some outlets. And then we have a 15 amp circuit that feeds our lights. We have two Simplify lithium batteries. 
that supplies our uh, um, our battery storage when our when when at night or when we don't have sun. Things that we're running on our off-grid system for electricity, uh, we've got a washer and dryer combo unit. When both the washer and the dryer are running together, I think it draws about a thousand watts. It kind of spikes up and down depending on what's what's running there. Six hundred to a thousand watts. The dryer is uh, propane, but it still has to still has to spin with electricity. Our lights are all LED. You know, they take anywhere from six to ten watts, not very much. We have a gas range. We do have a microwave. Um, this is a thousand watt microwave. Energy Star wash or a refrigerator, 18 cubic foot. We have a DC fan. We have a phone booster. LED light upstairs. So for our system, we're just running on 110 volts. So when we turn the water on, there's no uh, DC pumps or 12 volt pumps that kick in. It's just 110 volt. We have a fan in our shower with a light. And then we have uh, LED lights above for our, our bathroom sink area, which isn't done yet. The well system was a concern for me on the solar when I was filling this. So there you can just see the pump kicked in. 1,395, 1,370 watts, 1,400. So when our well is running, it takes about 1,400 watts of power. And that's a half horsepower, 110 volt, 10 gallon per minute pump. So if you're wondering if you can run a traditional uh, pump on the solar system. Yes, you can. We have a Connex SW4048 inverter. The AC output for this inverter is uh, 120 or 240 volts. You can do a 110 or 220. The power continuous is 3,800 watts. You can pull um, 4,400 watts for 30 minutes and you can draw 24 amps continuously. So this is our utility room. And this room isn't very big, but it's uh, taken a lot of uh, thinking and uh, kind of engineering to get everything in here the way we wanted it. Uh, honestly, a lot of uh, worrying time to make sure we had things right or the way we were doing this. I know in the other videos I've shown some of this, but this is kind of a final video. That's our well system, 30 gallon pressure tank, uh, traditional pressure, pressure switch, one uh, half horsepower, 10 gallon per minute pump that's uh, submerged in the well. Our well is 104 feet deep. Comes up, our uh, plumbing system is a PEC system. We have a tankless water heater that works really well. That's a ream, uh, 4.9 or something like that, gallon per minute hot water, uh, tankless water heater. Ours is set at 114 degrees and my wife must be using hot water right now because it's on. I've gone over our solar system, but we'll just highlight that again. Midnight controller, midnight 150, our combiner, combiner panel, uh, our programming panel here. Schneider SW4048 inverter. And then just a traditional electrical panel with our different breakers. Tried to do a good job of sealing up any cracks, keep the uh, rodents out, a couple trim pieces here and there. We've got a 100 gallon propane tank that runs the uh, cabin. We've got a 50 gallon propane tank that's our reserve so that when we run out of the 100, 
we can switch over to the 50 and then we get the 100 filled. The utility room is six foot in depth. And then it's about six foot across on the bottom and then angles up with the A. If you're looking at a system similar to mine, I'd like to say I planned this perfectly, but it just was, I got lucky. All of my mechanicals there fit nicely in that six foot wall space. Kind of hard to see with uh, the room I have, but all the mechanicals, the water heater, the, the service panel, the inverter, the combiner panel there, and the charge controller all fit nicely on that wall. To simplify lithium batteries, we've been really happy with this system. We've used it for two months in the summer and uh, have had no problems. No, no worries with the amount of energy we've been able to store and use.